do you know what I mean? Banter Towers here at Beard Castle. We're going to bring another Beard Master in today. Goes by the name of Thomas McNally from Banging Beards. So let's have a look at what we're letting ourselves in for, shall we? Well, here I am in the banter bubble. We'll take a look at Banging Beards products, shall we? And we'll see if we can have a sneak peek of what Tom's looks like himself. So, we've got the products like the beard wash. Always nice to have a nice clean beard. Beard balm. Here's one called Forest Walk. Very pretty photograph. Beard oil here. This one's Valhalla. Another nice photograph. So I think this kind of shows he's a professional guy. He likes to stay professional all the time. So let's see what he looks like. Oh. Well, that tells you a lot, doesn't it? Let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Hello Thomas and welcome to Castle Beard here in Banter Towers. I hope you the guards treated you well on your way up. I hope they didn't mistreat you in any way. You're getting them prodded from one of their axes or spikes, you know, where you don't want it. Um really glad to have you here in the in the group. Uh thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, man. It's uh had a few IT issues this morning or this evening I should say, but we're going to get there eventually, we, I think. We have had a few uh, IT issues. We won't go on about that because I'd probably end up throwing my computer out the window. But there no, you go. Right. It is what it is. Um, oh, cheers. Thanks for having me. Well, yeah, we're having, a, we're having a wee little drink from the, from my uh, beer sellers. The, the, the butler's brought us a beer up each. So cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you. Cheers. Um, I, I will say from, it was a few weeks ago now, but happy birthday for Banging Beards. You was... It was, oh, thank you. Your birthday was it last month, middle of last month? Yeah, it started November. Oh, so it's just really just gone then. Yeah, I started well. I started the company up in uh, on the first of no, well, technically on the first of November, twenty sixteen. Although right. everything was before, I was basically setting up the company for the last, for the two years before that. So I was really starting in about twenty fourteen. Um, I started because. It was really, I've got some products here, but it was really the BAM that uh, started everything off for me. Uh, okay. When I first started using, I've always had somewhat of a beard. I've also, had, also been clean shaven for a majority of my life. But every every time I had a beard, it was, I would grow it to a certain length, it'd get itchy, just do the normal stuff. Yeah. And I never knew about beard oils and yeah. BAMs oh. and all the stuff to go with it. So um, I said uh, one day, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. and started growing uh my missus fiona she got me a couple of little oils and stuff to try out i started obviously with the oils most people start out with the oils because they are they are easier to apply and everything that not less less fat fuffing about basically and breaking down the balm and things so i started out with the oil thought it was all right didn't really agree with the with the, with the i'm not gonna i won't name different companies Few companies will use chemicals in their in their oils and everything that. There's a lot of ones where you read the back of the label. If I can't understand what's in the back of the label, I don't want I don't want to put it in my face. That's so yeah, close yeah. to my my nose, my, my mouth. Like yeah, yeah. so I wasn't really too happy with the first batch that she got me and everything. So I started doing some research and then I started trying the different companies. I always I, I I've always liked buying from a smaller company. I'll always choose company to a bear company so i was trying all different companies about and don't get me wrong there's plenty of good ones out there but there was some that just didn't agree with me and the thing that started off for me was the bam was because i would put on a bam and i've got a really really curly beard i don't know if you'll see it my webcam's not really the best but it is really curly right. and in lockdown it's definitely got a bit more wilder but i would put on a bam and within two or three hours i'd look in the mirror and this side is just all sticking out there and yeah. it's not 
kept and I'm like, well, why isn't this happening? So I started really working on the BAM to begin with. I came out with the oil first. I, I, I'd finished the oil before I finished the BAM, but I started the BAM first. Um, and I came out with um, with a coconut rum, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. and, um, that was the first one I came out with. And wow. as soon as I came out with it, I went, you know what? That's a banging scent and I love it. And yeah. next thing you know, I'm creating the mango and then we go on to a cedarwood and a sandalwood and by the time i got to the sandalwood i'd finished the bam and then i started incorporating oh, okay. the bam and everything that um and then it literally just started escalating from there i say escalating my missus would say escalating i say expanding <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the whole flat is full of beard products yeah it must it must smell amazing just a, a quick note on it that's what i've got on today i'm wearing the um so see the wood the cedarwood one i've got on it's a lovely Lovely sweet smell to that. Yeah. It's like a creamy, I think, sort of, almost coconut smell to it. Yeah, there is there is a slight sweetness behind it, which I like. Yeah, it's nice. And obviously I've got the balm as well. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm wearing today. That's what I've donned in my beard. Well, what do you what do you do? Do you do you um do you use an oil and, and balm combo together or do you find sometimes you might use an oil and then you'll choose a different scented balm and mix it together yourself? No, I always prefer I don't know, it's something a bit I've got something a bit anal going on there. They always prefer the same oil and balm together. I know some people like to make up, mix and match and do a kind of, yeah. I don't know, was it a fruit salad thing so you, and to see what you create? <laughs> but I just prefer to stick with stick with one. The same sense. Yeah. I'm the same, but a lot of people I know will say, oh, I really like mixing this balm with this oil. And, and I, I think it's worth, right. if, it's, if you like that sort of stuff, go for it because you never know, you're going to create something you could, you could create a really fantastic smell. Just me. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I mean, I'm a vanilla ice cream man, so I want to know what's going and what the smell I've got. So, I can, you know, <laughs> stick it on, go on, and that's me happy. So, but that's, each to their own. nothing wrong with vanilla ice cream, by the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's all I have. If I go to the cinemas, it's a, uh, a tub of vanilla ice cream and a bit of popcorn stuck on top. And yeah. Like. <laughs> simple things. Uh, but sometimes the simple things make it best, mate. Yeah. Always. So let's go on to um, the name Banging Beards. Where did that come from? What's that about? Um, so I've, it's a bit of a funny one, actually. So I, I, I always say banging. When I say banging, it means that something is good. Banging. It's yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So every time my missus will like cook something amazing, I'll turn around and say, Fiona, that is banging. Like okay. you listen to a good tune, you look at your mate, you go, that's banging. <laughs> yeah. When I was coming up with all this, I, I really like the alliteration. I like B and B. I like having something that goes with beards. So yeah, yeah. I actually thought of it for far, far too long than I should have. <laughs> banging beards should have just come to me straight away, but it didn't. And I sat there for for months just sitting thinking of the name. I wanted something catchy and stuff like that. Yeah. At the time, I was actually working, I um, don't know if I should say this, I worked for British Gas in a call center. Okay. And it was in between call. Well, in between calls when you're sitting on idle. Sometimes you might wait half an hour, 45 minutes for a call to come through when it's completely dead. During that time, I actually started making the brand and putting everything together, working everything out the way it should be. Um, and I was sitting next to my mate, Ross, and I was sitting there and I said, damn, I really can't think of this. I really, in my head, every day I think from nine to 10, I'm thinking of the name. And he turned to me one day and he went, mate, mate. And I go, what? He goes, you. And I went, what do you mean me? And he goes, banging, you, banging beards. And I went, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how banging beards was created, basically. Right. Wow. So I left. I, I don't speak to Ross anymore. I left him straight away, so I don't give him anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the the, the Nike one. The woman who came up with it, the the tip for that, she got about fifty quid for drawing it. Usually, like I love that name. I'm out of there. <laughs> no, I'm actually I'm actually good pals with Ross. He's actually a good mate of mine these days. Right. But yeah, he um he he definitely made a click in my head. Good, excellent. Um, I get that as well because like you can see that alliteration and that uh, that rhyme because I've got it with. Carl's bearded banter, and I was the same. So yeah. you want stuff that rhymes. And, and I just think you want to catch it in the day. Into that bit of song to it, then it makes it a bit more memorable, a bit more fun. See, at the end of the day, like the beard market is, I didn't realize how oversaturated it is, yeah. and how many different companies are out there. So 
even when I started thinking, oh, there must be tons of companies out there, I still wanted something that's like going to be catchy and quick and off the mark kind of thing. Go, oh, actually, that's a, that's a nice sound. I, I want to try that, not just because of everything else. But so I wanted that. So, Tom, t I mean, I hope you don't mind me calling you, Tom. No, go for it. As long as I'm not in trouble, that's when you can call me my full name. Okay, fair enough. Um, I know you said you've you've kind of you've had the beard and you've shaved it off. I think we've all done that throughout. Like since about the age of twenty ish, I've had a goatee on and off. Well, pretty much all the time. But it is then, like you say, when you get fed up a bit. But how long? Yeah. You said the beard you've got now. How long have you had that? For, I mean, obviously different length, but how long since you started sort of growing that ish? Oh, probably easy six year now. Is easy it? six. Yeah, easy six years when I'm thinking about it now. Fair enough. And um, have you ever been to any like beard competitions, as in entering or just spectating or and with your company? Or is that something you may look well, at in the future? So I haven't actually like um entered in any competitions personally. Um as you know, I'm part of um uh, bearded villains in Scotland with the Scotland chapter. Um so they hold their yearly meet in Edinburgh called Edinburgh. Um, and I actually started the first time I was in there, I think it was Ed and Beard 20, yeah, it would have been 20, no, 2018. Yeah, it would have been 2018. Wow. Um, and they invited me along and just said, listen, because one of my ambassadors is, um, is in, uh, in Bearded Villains yeah, yeah. Scotland. And, uh, he's, he got in touch and said, listen, we're doing our annual meet. Why don't you come and just see what we're about and everything that and yeah. you know what i fell in love with the guys and stuff yeah. and they're such, such a good group of lads yeah uh, we look out for each other and everything like that and um i joined the next day and the rest is history i'll i've done now the next one they had was last year this one this year they do it every september this year is obviously cancelled it was cancelled the COVID issue. yeah COVID gutted because we get a lot of people that come from around the world and stuff to come and support and everything yeah. so it was a bit of a gutter but um so i've been there twice now holding um having a stall there but any beard competitions go that they need um any products and stuff i always happy to go i was actually i got in touch well i got um the flemish chapter got in touch with me and asked me to to go to uh belgium for their annual meet um so i was it was actually going to be a couple of months ago uh oh, but again, yeah. COVID and we couldn't do it but me and the missus we were just going to drive down uh yeah. with everything in the boot and then just go because just get a ferry from Hull, apparently. That'll be, that'll be a cracking weekend or whatever. It, I'm sure it'll be a yeah. weekend, but that'll be a cracking day. Uh, you'll have to come back this way and stick me in the boot. I'll come over with you. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you do things like, where's it gone? My little pin badge here, banging bears. You can see yeah. that one. And I've got one of your T-shirts, and, and I notice you've got one on, a different style one on there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, Shall should I give a back look for, for mine? There we go. That's just on the top of the diamond in this one. <laughs> and um you know you've got all your products but what would you say is the best seller out of it i mean it might be a t-shirt it might be an oil it might be a balm it could be the pin what would you say is the best most popular seller um, of yours? tough man really tough question i've got a lot of pretty good sellers like um the ones that stick out right now will definitely be the coconut rum yeah. is always since it's come out, I'd, it's something different. I People ask me, what, what is it? And I go, well, I have to class it as something. So I'll class it as fruity, but it's not fruity. But it's it's in, it's, on, it's on a level of its own. So that's probably, the for me, it's probably one of the best sellers. But also, since I came out with the, the Valhalla, that oh. one is that one's just taken over as well. So I'd probably say it's a mix between the Valhalla and the coconut rum right now. I don't. I mean, I've, I think I've got a video. If so, if you go and check my videos out, you'll find the, the uh, my review on the coconut rum. I've not yeah, seen yeah. the Valhalla one yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to send me that uh, Jaggy piece I was on about. You know, I'll do a bit of advertising for you and you'll send me the car down. But, uh, you know, you've not sent it yet. But is I will it, say, is, hey, is you did send me this you one. Want, and I'm going to black with yet. Drag, yeah? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The Christmas in a jar. The Christmas in a jar, yeah. Is this one that you, you've got for sale now, is it? Yes, yeah. So I release it every Christmas, basically, or just oh. before Christmas on it the run-up to it. It's a lovely... I've not... I've not. You can see it's, it's untouched, untampered. Um, but it's got it's got a lovely kind of figgy sort of um, mince pie scent to it. it, it you're right, it's Christmas in a jar. It, you, you bang on right, you've got the name perfect with that one. It is, but it's a wonderful scent. It's, it's a kind of rich, 
happy Christmas scent. So well done for that one, mate. It does smell, uh, even though I said I'm not using it. But that is a for me, that scent. one was, I needed to get everything that was Christmas into this little bottle, into this little jar. And it it did take a while to, to get everything down and everything that, but I am happy with the with the end result on that one as well. It's brilliant. I really do like, I mean, to be honest with you, you, you sent it to me a while ago and I thought, well, it's coming on live, I better give it a quick whiff. And I just went, this is the other day, and I went, wow, that's great. And it did, it just, in fact, when I smell it, I just think, I can see like Christmas trees, you know, all decorated yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, see. just sitting, sitting, having Christmas dinner. Yeah, but in fact, I think smelling it, I'm putting a few pounds on because that is what it's like. It's them mince pies. Oh, it's fantastic smell. I mean, I don't know. It might it might not sound great the way of describing it, but it is a beautiful smell. I think people should give that a go, especially Christmas time. It's a perfect, perfect season yeah. for that. Just put you in that Christmas mood, even yeah, in exactly. the That's exactly it. That Christmas spirit, get you, get it going. He says, "Down in some beer." What about banging beers in the future? Where do you see yourself, say, two, five, ten years from now? Tough, because my miss would probably say, I wish he'll just stop uh, making more stuff and coming out with new products and new scents and stuff, so at least we can relax. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll probably not agree with that. I'll definitely be coming out with more scents and everything and more products and stuff. I would... Ideally, it would be great if, uh, like, you know, I, I still work my nine five job yeah. and everything that, and I do banging beards at the end. And sometimes I might not get to my bed until maybe 11 or 12 at night. And because you're doing things, as soon as you finish at four or five yeah. o'clock, yeah. emails to respond to, your social media and stuff like that as well. And you're getting things ready for the next day. And so it would be great if this it's actually does. Time. Yeah, it would be amazing if I can. If it doesn't, you know what? I. I'm still quite happy. I'm I can balance everything out the way yeah. I am. I'm good in managing my own time and everything. So if it doesn't, I'm still working at my nine five and I can still do bang and beards. Excellent. But over the next five years, you're definitely gonna see some new products. Um I'm coming out with a full new fruity fruity range. Um I won't give too much away, no. but there is gonna be at least four or five new ones that are coming out. Um a couple non-fruity as well but i'm still working on those ones see my um i not like a not like a, a disrespect to any other kind of beer no. companies but i might the the fruit the sweet stuff i like a fruity stuff i don't like your like um like a banana a banoff pie or something whatever like you want to have as a dessert when you want to eat i'd rather put something that is more fruity kind of sweet smell on my beard and so all the sweeter smells will always be fruity with me right yeah okay fair play yeah and you gotta go with what you like i mean like you say it's, it's pointless you producing an oil or balm that you don't like because it just doesn't make any sense to to make it don't you? you've got to like it and you've got to go with what i mean it's about making it like say it's your company it's your brand you make it what you want it to be and you bring out the sense that you think you like and then hopefully that um will get across to the public as well. Because if you don't like yeah. something and you're trying to sell something you don't like, it's just not going to work out, is it? So yeah, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. Like, you're spot on with that. Like, um, the every every oil, every balm, every scent that I've come out with, I've come out with because I want that scent. It's yeah. from, like, I've, I've done it because I like that. And I'm hoping that other people like that as well. So, like, when I came out, like, the uh, I'm a big coffee lover. I love coffee, yeah. right? They love it. For me, I wake up in the morning. The first thing, now I take the dog for a walk. We've just got a new pup the other week. Um, after I come back from taking the pup for a walk, the first thing is a coffee. Yeah. And that sets me up for the day. And so yeah. before we had the pup, it was because I came out with the Impresso Espresso um, months ago. I was I, I sat and had a coffee and I was sitting and I, I we have an espresso machine and I have espressos all the time. Right. So I didn't have any espresso and I said, you know what? This is a banging smell, and I would love to just paste myself like all in this coffee smell. <laughs> yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make it. I'm yeah, gonna make a coffee room cheer for me. I'm yeah. gonna wake up in the morning. I'm gonna have my espresso. I'm gonna have my impresso espresso, and I'm gonna bash it all together and see what happens. 
and that is actually a really good um, a really good range for me as well. It's not probably as I came out with the Valhalla and the Impresso Espresso at the same time. I'd probably say the Valhalla has definitely m m a bit more popular in terms of the end goal, but a lot of people will still come with me and comment and send me an Instagram or a Facebook or something or just right. get in touch. With you know what? I really like your coffee smell. It's strong. It's the way I like my coffee. But the the people, I'll, I'll always ask, are you a coffee lover? Because right. as soon as they say, yeah, I go, brilliant. That's, yeah. that's who I made it for. It's for the yeah. coffee lovers. I just hope that when I make, when, when I when I sit and make the products and everything that I do have in the back of my head, I'm trying to make it for other people as well. But at the yeah, same yeah. time, I'm thinking, what do I like? What 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 awesome. what kind of triggers me yeah. to to go? Mm, that's actually really good. And mm, you know what, dingy that one. I'm not going to touch that one actually today. So I mean, while we're here, we might as well talk about. Do you know, I assume all the base oils are the same for 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 the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a bit of a blast with this one. Like I say, I've got the seed wood here. So, tell us what are the base oils in your products there, buddy? So, we have um, almond, grape seed, coconut, argan, and jojoba or jojoba, whatever the way you want to pronounce it. Um, it took me, it did take me a while. It took, like I said, it took me a while to come up with both the bams and the oils. I really wasn't happy. See, the first batch I done reminded me of. A company I tried, they're not around anymore, but they were a smaller company. And as soon as I put it on my hands and put it on my beard, nothing, absolutely okay. nothing went on the beard. Nothing stayed on the beard. Yeah. Maybe on the, maybe on the front, but nothing got absorbed. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, where? Yeah. Wrong? Why is it going wrong? And two years later, we, we I managed to work around with the oils and stuff because... When I first started, I, I'd done, it was a lot of research. I'd done research into the oils, the way the oils work with each other, which oil does what for what and yeah. how it actually works and what it's going to do for me. And then I started working out, what do I want for me and my skin and my hair? Because at the end of the day, I always say it when I speak to, to customers and everything that, I tell them, you need to think of your face like a flower bed, right? You need the soil to be right for the flowers to grow right. Exactly, and you need yeah. your and your pores and everything to be good for your your hair to grow yeah. right and naturally and really really good so when i was doing all the research it wasn't just about the beard it's about the skin as yeah. well so i wanted things that would work really really well for me and actually give me the best outcome from my beard uh, there was other ones that i would like one of the i think it was like the third or the fourth batch i tried it absorbed but then all i looked was like you'd put some sort of like reflective gear on my face and it was just shiny like hell right, right. so i was just like nah i don't want that either i wanted to absorb and just take yeah, everything course. yeah i've noticed Are i you? like that about you it does absorb into the beard it doesn't kind of just stick there i mean when i just put it on then it's it was a, that was a terrible example of how you apply beard oil because <laughs> you want to be getting it into your skin obviously i'm just yeah. getting out to get to get a bit of a whiff going so you want to be getting it onto, onto your skin and then pulling it through the beard because yeah, you're getting the nutrients on it, but you, you, you're getting that smell there as well, bringing that out onto it. And you, you do have a, it does have a lingering smell, which, you know, which is nice. It's not just put it on and then it's gone three minutes later, but it does soak well into the beard. And that's one thing yeah. that I'm really, that, you know, I really like in, in, in beard oils, the one that soaks in. And I don't know if it's the, the, ho, the jojoba, that seems to do well. For me, I like jojoba and, um, uh, what's the fruit one? I forgot what it's called now. Fruit um, one? No, I mean the uh, oil is uh, avocado. They seem to avocado. Sell. Yeah, some people say I like them two oils. But anyway, so I actually started work. I did. I did some work with avocado because I really do. I love. I eat avocado all the time. I love it. Right, love it. So I, I would have thought, you know what? Let's get the oil into it. Let's do it. I know you'll probably ask me later on any kind of future ideas and what's coming out and everything that, but there is um, there is a bedtime butter that I've been working on. Um, again, I've been working on the last six months. I'm not too happy with the way it's it's absorbing and everything that. So I'm I'm back to square one with it. I thought I was there. Yeah. Made the last batch and then I'd been testing. And I said, you know what? I'm not that happy with it, and okay, I'll fine. never I'll never put something up and and 
put I'll never just say I'm gonna release a product for the sake of it. Yeah. I need it to be like good. good. Yeah. yeah. So the I'm coming up with the bedtime butter. The reason for it, I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people out there that prefer a butter that doesn't have bams in it and everything that uh, sorry, not bams, uh beeswax in it. Wax in, yeah. Yeah, but for me, a balm is to hold the beard in yes. place. Yeah. For me, a butter is something that's going to absorb a little bit, like going to absorb over a longer period. Over, so yeah. the, That's why it's good at night time. I think you, you can apply it and then just leave it into soap. soap exactly. Soap night. exactly. So the, the the oils and the, and the butters that I'm using in this bedtime butter that I'm going to make is their slow releasing. So over the full night, Ah. you'll start getting everything all everything working for you basically and that's what i'm trying to get out of the bedtime butter for me excellent so watch, watch this space give me give me some time i'm not gonna put it i'm not gonna put a time limit on it because yeah, fair enough. Yeah, unless i'm happy with it right. at least excellent night thanks for telling us though anyway and so that does answer the other question what have you got anything coming out obviously you've got besides the besides the butter i'm gonna show you something in the next few days Oh, is this... oh, is this a, a, a brush? A oh. little wooden comb. Yes. Wooden uh, comb. So this one's just come out. I've not taken the pictures and stuff out, but it will. Which way am I going? There you go. There we yeah. go. So, yeah, so this one will come out pretty soon. And yes. then, like I said, I've got the bedtime butter and the fruity arrangers that I'll be coming out with because I don't. I like. I really like a fruity um, scent, to be fair. Like, I'll. Put the mango on the coconut. I like yeah. yeah, I really like a fruity scent. So, and I feel like I'm lacking that right now. I've got the Valhalla, I've got the sandalwood, cedarwood, I've got the forest walk as well. I've got these woody smells and everything that, but now I want more fruity kind of stuff yeah. as well. Have I not given you the forest walk? No, I've not seen the forest walk. Definitely not seen okay. that one. Expect something. <laughs> it's, you all heard it here, folks. This is where we, the, the two of us fall out. <laughs> well, <laughs> live on YouTube. <laughs> so, so the first the one, is, um, the there, buddy? it's a it's it's a wood it's a it's, it is a woody smell, obviously forest walk. But you've got some citrus through it as well to give it more of like a refreshing kind of smell as well. Yeah, what I wanted to do is I wanted to when I open up the bam, I want to smell it and go. Yeah, that that is literally like walking through a fresh forest. It's yeah. just after. It's a bit of rain or something like that, and you just get all the natural smells through yeah. it. And that's what I wanted to do, and that's obviously why I've called Excellent. the forest. Walk. I love doing that, and it just getting the smell. I think, what's it called? This, right? Okay, you give yourself an idea. Like, say, forest walk. So, I've got in my mind, right? Okay, I'm going in through this forest now. Let's go have a smell and go there and you know, yeah, and see what we get. I'm, yeah. I'm in the forest, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's what does it for me. So, I mean. You know, it's that's just in the name, which really it's got no relevance to the product itself. But I do kind of, you know, it, it subconscious. Well, it's not even subconsciously; it's consciously. I do try and make that link and see what we come up with. But, I don't yeah. like to when I when I make a product. I don't like to. So, like my mango melody isn't just mango. There's other. There's other like no. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, in there and everything that, and I like to build on a scent, but. Yeah. I like it. My, I love a mango. Like mango, give me a mango fruit every morning. I'll have that. Yeah. No bother. Let me smell mango every day. I, I love mango. So that was very easy for me to come up with. Like, what do I want? I obviously want a mango, but how am I going to make the, how am I going to round the actual scent better? Because if you just put a mango scent it's into not, it, it's not, it's not enough. You need something yeah, and you can right. If I was just to give you a mango smell and I give you like the mango melody, you'll you will want the mango melody more because I've got stuff in it that gives it more of a rounded yeah. balance in it and it shapes everything a bit better. Well, I mean, final... I mean I, sorry, mate. Yeah, I think you covered it there with calling it mango melody. Like you've not called it mango scent, you've called it mango melody. So for me, I'm thinking for me, that's like an orchestra. You, you've got you love your main mango. Bits, I like that. You love, like the, you love the backing instruments and all that coming in to give it that. To give it that sense yeah, yeah. and coming through. Well, and it just makes it more interesting. Yeah, exactly. Right, we'll go there now. We'll go to the old Desert Island beards, mate. Uh, we've been through your products, but if you was going to get stuck on a Desert Island and you can only take one product with you, what would it be? It's all you can use for the rest of your time now. Tough, man. Tough question. You know, like, you, you asked me this and I thought, 
which one would I take? Like, which <laughs> one? And I'm, I am between two. The first one that popped into my head would be the coconut rum. I'm on a, I'm on a beach. Why not have the coconut rum? Aye. Yeah, but, but you're be surrounded by coconuts as well there, though, mate. So. Yeah, as long as I'm not under a, a coconut tree, like a palm tree, and let them fall on my head, yeah, like, yeah, you know. Knock it out. Yeah. Apart from the coconut, I'm tough because I really love my wash. Right, okay. Yeah. I love my wash, like, I really do. And I am coming out with um, with a bar wash as well, um, a beard bar wash. Oh, that's uh, soap. Be, yeah, so it'll be, it'll be a soap, but it'll be, it's argan-based with charcoal. And the reason for it is to give you more of that kind of deep clean as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, I'll never, like, you should only, you, you, your skin needs to get used to to the everyday extremities, right? Mm -hmm. If you are out and about, see if you're working around sawdust all day, I'm going to tell you, you need to use a, a wash yeah. every day. Regular, yeah. But you like, See, like me, that I don't work in construction and all that kind of stuff, and there's not all this shite going through my beard. Mm -hmm. I would only use a wash once every two, three days. Yeah, you shouldn't really be using it over because no. you want your skin to and your and your pores and to get used to to it. Because if they start getting used to you washing every day, it's not gonna it's not gonna actually do the best for you. I've un. There's so many people that ask me, why don't you send? Scent the beard wash. Go scent it. Go. I want a mango melody beard wash. And I go, right. Yeah, yeah. You, you might want the mango melody beard wash, right? But why why would you want to scent it? Because I'm giving you the oils and the bam to scent it afterwards. Exactly. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So for me, when I start for me to add a scent into the beard wash, you'll start clashing and things. And then you might put on the beard wash with a mango melody, but then you might come out the shower and go, right, I'll put on the Valhalla. Yeah. And then you have a clash and you might walk out the door and go, actually, I don't really like that yeah, that, that yeah. smell right now. What's, what's up? And yeah. it's because you've mixed stuff that, that shouldn't be mixed together. I think you did really well there, bring, making it um, unscented. Because exactly for that for that one only reason. Like you say, you, when you're washing it, so you, you're stripping it of all the kind of scents what are already in there. Now, I mean, all right, you know, it's a cleaning product, but you, you're gonna you're pulling out any scents that you've left there from the hours of the day. And then when you've got out of the shower, it's a it's a blank canvas, so you can go where you want. And like you say, if you'd gone with if you had gone with, let's say, you know, your coffee, which you like, or uh, whatever, the coconut, and then you're not gonna put a coconut on and then put another, a different, uh, you know, clashing product on with it. So yeah. just clean your beard. So it's fantastic. So it opens it up for, and not even only just your, you're a bit crafty here. You're a bit crafty because it's not only just opening it up for your products. You, you can go with anybody else's products. Wash yeah. your beard with, with the banging beard wash. So it's neutralized it and then go where you want, really. So uh, I'm a, fair play to you I on said, that one, mate. Like I said before, there are tons of companies out there and there are tons of great ones. And just because a company doesn't work for me, and which is why I started buying beers because I couldn't find the company that works for me and my skin, what I need and my hair, what 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 it needs. Doesn't mean that it's a bad company. No, it's not. Yeah. It mean, oh, right. Look at look at the ingredients. Is it all natural? Brilliant. Then it's a yeah. good company, right? But it doesn't mean at all that it's a it's a bad company. It might just not be suitable for you and your beard. Yeah. And that, that's the bottom line. It. Oh, fantastic. Well, listen, Tom. I would like to say thank you for joining us. In, thank you for having me, man. Well, thank, thank you for coming along to um, Beard Towers. I would like to send you one of these because you were a star band, so, so I'll send you my Bearded Banter star sticker. And I'll send you, you. You've, I think I've already sent you my pins anyway, wherever gone. So I'll send you one of these, um, what do you call them? Static cling stick, uh, static cling window stickers or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's going on, it's going on my motor, you said. So, oh, yeah, we're at <laughs> cheers. Thanks for joining. It's nice having a beer with you. Um, we'll we'll do it again. Too, we'll have to do it again. We will have to do it again. Really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, mate. See you soon. Thank you. Have a good one, all right? All right, mate. Ta-da. <laughs>